Well, following those tragic shootings in Georgia, the LAPD is adding extra patrols in the city's Asian American and Pacific Islander communities. There's also a new campaign now centered around trying to bridge the racial divide. KCAMI's Jasmine Veal is live at police headquarters in downtown LA this afternoon, where the chief just spoke. Jasmine. Yeah, and Susie, this is really coming at a critical time, right? Police Chief Michael Moore, he did talk about this new community campaign that his department here is taking part in. It's called Just Say Hello, and it's an effort to better connect people of different races. At the same time, this department is trying to stop those attacks on Asian Americans that are on the rise. I did experience like racism throughout my life. It's just very unfortunate right now. 26 year old Dave Ha came to LA as a child from South Korea and says sadly he's used to the racial slurs when he's out walking or driving. You know, sometimes when I like go grab a lunch, someone might like yell stuff from the car and I'll be like, Oh, it's one of those. And he's not alone. A new report by Stop AAPI Hate shows nearly 3,800 racially motivated attacks against Asian Americans from March to February of this year in the U.S. And that number is likely only a fraction of the attacks that have occurred. Here in Los Angeles, um, it's extremely troubling because we have 360 incidents. Munju Kulkarni, executive director of the Asian Pacific Policy and Planning Council, took part in a congressional hearing today about anti anti-Asian hate crimes and what policymakers can do. LAPD Police Chief Michael Moore says the department has acted on these reports, expanding their outreach since last month. We hear you and we see you and we know the pain those that wish to prey upon communities or individuals of other communities will be aggressively pursued. He announced a new initiative called the Just Say Hello campaign, which encourages meaningful conversations to bridge the ever widening divisions of race. You got another effort by the department to join in with other community uh, organizations. Connie Chung Jo, the CEO of Asian Americans Advancing Justice Los Angeles, says the rise in these attacks started early in the pandemic, but surged again after the election. Here I am in Koreatown. Do you think people, Asian Americans, are afraid to just walk down the street? Absolutely. I mean, we had a physical attack on an Asian American man just, I think, two blocks from where you're standing right now that had left him beaten and his nose fractured. Advocates say these attacks are attacks on the whole community. And as for this campaign, it's just one more tool for this department, right? For example, they're going to be handing out masks with the slogan, just say hello on them. And they want to remind people there is a free confidential tip line where you can report hate crimes 211. Here in downtown LA, Jasmine Veal, KKL 9 News. Jasmine, thank you so much.